Well, good morning. I'm Chaplain Joshua Zarzana, taking you through a devotion this morning on the festival known as Shavuot. It is a time that is celebrated and reflected on June 4 through 6. And Shavuot is also known as the Feast of Weeks, or the Day of the First Fruits. It is a, a harvest festival. Now, if you didn't know already, there's actually three major pilgrimage festivals for the Jewish people. One is Passover. Another is Sukkot. And the one that we are talking about today is Shavuot. Now, Shavuot initially was focused on giving God the first fruits of the wheat harvest. It was a time where Israel just brought in the crop, really, and then looked and saw how much God had blessed them with what they would have to eat in an abundance. And then in that abundance, they gave back to God in celebration and thanks and worship. But Shavuot over time developed also into something else where it was a time of celebration of which Israel received the Torah uh, given to Moses on Mount Sinai. And what is the Torah? The Torah is the first five books of the Bible, um, and those books are very significant. Why? Because they give the nation of Israel's vast history of the people they are and where they came from. It also gives a story of creation. It also gives the many laws of God, the way that he brought those in and guided his people and saying, here's my standard, here's the way I want you to go. Here's how I want you to live. He gave them a very pointed direction and purpose in his law. And many of those laws, right, just beautiful. Still today, um, many of us know the Ten Commandments, right? Those laws were included uh, within the Torah and lie, uh, laws like do not lie, right? Um, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Um, honor the Lord, right? These commandments that are given to Israel, which ultimately also are commandments from God that would be given to mankind to say, live in this way that life would be beautiful. And so Shavuot is a time where you could say it's a pause and a reflection of what is received from God. And then to turn that back to him and say, thank you for what you've given to us, that we would live by your way and have a fellowship and a communion with your ways. There's a great verse that ties into this in Psalm 119 verses 33 through 34, which says, teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I will keep them to the end. I will live in your way. So that is certainly a devotion uh, and and it's something that we should echo in our lives daily. Uh, God has given us a standard. He's given us a law. He's provided for us as we step into summer and you enjoy meals and fellowship and picnics and connections with people. Understand that those are things that came from God. So enjoy them and enjoy them well uh, because he is good he, and he wants us to enjoy a good life centered on his principles, uh, centered on his goodness, centered on his love. Um, so go forward this weekend thinking about those things um, as we enter into Shavuot. And I just pray God's richest blessings upon you. God bless you and have a wonderful day and days ahead.